How you doing guys? How you doing guys? It's Danny K. Right back again with another video. Here to give you inspiration and motivation. You know, I know life is hard, taking it day by day. You know, let's chop it up for today. A lot of people are lazy. A lot of people are lazy. And I realize lazy people want to be entertained. That's going to be the title of this video. It's going to be a quick video, nothing long. Lazy people want to be entertained. I talked to one of my friends. He got out of prison. You know, now I'm an associate of mine. He got out of prison or whatnot. And we're chopping it up. And I say he's lazy, but just seeing how he moves. And I'm just chopping up game with him. I'm like, yo, bro, I have a YouTube channel or whatnot. I'm, I'm not making big money. I'm not going to go, oh, yeah, I'm making millions and hundreds of thousands. No, no, no. But I'm making a little something, you know, a little something. And it's just the base. You know, it's, it's going to blow up. It's going to take time for it to build, you know. But for you, since you've been in prison, in a few years from now, you're going to blow up. You know, not years. Just, you're going to blow up just fast because a lot of people like listening about that. A lot of people want to listen about that hood stuff, about that prison stuff. A lot of people, that's a, that's a hot topic on YouTube. And he, he looked at me and said, oh, interesting. You know, I think about it. They proceeded to watch a show. And I'm not saying he's lazy, but I'm like, yo, bro, I just literally gave you something that if it goes the right way, if you do the right things, you going, you could make money off of this. And way easier. Me, I'm in a niche, personal development, this and that. It takes a while for me to build something. It's going to take a while for me to build an audience, you know? It's going to take a while for me to build an audience, but you... You talk about prison. You could talk to people about hood stuff because you really lived it. You might as well just talk about it. You might as well just let people know. Keep people on game about the street game. Oh, yeah. You know, if you're in this, if you see this type of guy walking this way towards you, you are licking or, you know, you're going to get robbed, X, Y, and Z. This, here's, not to, this, here's how not to get robbed in the hood. And he's in, he, I could tell that yeah, he's, he's following, but he's like, I, I don't know about that. You know, because it's probably outside his comfort zone. But I'm like, yo, damn, man, come on. Entertainment, that thing was not really going to pay you. That's just something just to do on your spare time. Just to, you know, when life is hard, you know, you're like I did a lot of work. I'm just going to get entertained myself a little bit, you know, let loose a little bit. But entertainment is not going to pay you. Not saying he's lazy. I'm not saying he was lazy. But I'm just saying that part of my, yo, entertainment is not going to pay you. But I have some other friends who are lazy and they love entertainment. They're lazy. Now, these are for sure lazy people, lazy bones. And they feel entitlement. And when I call them, yo, bro, what you doing? Uh, you know, chilling, man, just, you know, you know what I'm saying, just doing what it do. So what's the plan? You know, you know, man, I'm just trying to chill, trying to watch some movies, trying, you know, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to go to the club, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to, and you're like, yo, you don't got, you don't have anything. You don't got any money. You don't have any investments. You know, you don't have any goals and you're just talking about movies and video games. And it's, it's, and it's just lazy people want to be entertained. Lazy people want to be entertained. Lazy people want to be entertained. Because it takes them away from their life. It takes them away from their reality. So you're like, oh, Dan, I don't, I, I don't got nothing going on. Got, so let me live vicariously through a video game. Let me live vicariously through a TV show. Let me live vicariously through a movie. I always tell them, like, yes, I, don't, I don't really play... You could play video games, but me, I'm like, yes, yo, now, especially me at this, I'm like, I don't got time for video games. If I want to go get a gun to shoot, I'll go get a gun and go to a gun range. If I want to play basketball, I go to a court, I can shoot basketball. If I want to play football, I'll go and play football. I'll do things in real life. I'm going to do things in real life. If I want to, people, that's why people like GTA. People want to, oh, yeah, you know, I want to have a nice car. No, I'm like, yes, I want a car, I'm going to get that in real life. I'm going to get that car in real life. If I want it, I'm going to get it because I'm not lazy. I try, I'm like, yo, I can't be lazy. The goals I want, a lazy person cannot reach it. So I want you guys to have that same mentality. Always remember, a lazy guy, a lazy person, a lazy woman always looks for entertainment. And if you're talking to somebody, you know, me, when I see somebody who wants that, who has that mindset, I tell them, just stay away. Because you're some total of the people you hang out with. So if I hang out with lazy people who want to be entertained, because what's going to happen to me? I'm going to become a lazy guy that wants, that looks for entertainment. Instead of me going to grind, instead of me building something for my future, for my legacy, instead of building something that I can, be, yo, I can help my family, instead of building something that I can help, let me help the community, let me help other people, let me help the people around me. Instead of me doing something that's going to have long lasting effects for generations. It's crazy how one person could change a generation. Young Dolph, um, the rapper, he died. And he has, he owns like a hundred properties in um, Memphis where he lives. Just doing that action alone changed it for generations. But him dying is also going to change it for generations. He has little kids that he left behind. 
and that just that's not that does not come out of being lazy that's not that does not come out of being lazy being very productive inside does not come from being lazy when you're lazy you become idle and as the bible said the idle minds the devil's workshop when, the, my mom said that not the bible the bible doesn't say that doesn't say i need to look into that i'm not sure but the idle mind is the devil's workshop so you become lazy you become idle you're like ah oh, damn you know i have a i don't have a life I, I can't go see different things. I can't buy the car that I want. I can't do anything. So let me live vicariously through a TV show. Let me live vicariously through a movie. Let me live vicariously through somebody else, a social media influencer. Instead of going out there and building your life, instead of going out there and creating a life on your own, which is going to take time, but you don't want to do the work. You don't want to do the work to take the time. Me, I, I worked 60, 70, 80. I worked 100 hours, like, was like three, four weeks ago, 100 hours a week in that week. And I was looking, I'm like, damn, I worked 100 hours. I'm like, this is going to be the difference between somebody who makes it and somebody who doesn't make it. Because you're going to have to put the work in. You're going to have to put the hours in. You're going to put the hours in entertainment or into yourself. You know? And I'm not saying you should work that. I'm not even saying that because sometimes you need time to go and learn new skills and build new skills. But just know laziness, if you're lazy, you're not gonna go anywhere in life, long term. You might win, you might hit, you might be mediocre, but you're not gonna go anywhere long term. Because in this life, the universe could do many things, but the universe does not give people who don't deserve something anything. If you think that, if you don't deserve it, you're not gonna get it. Charlie, is it Charlie Munger quote? I'm kinda messing with that quote, but that's just the gist of the quote. The universe is crazy, but the universe is not crazy enough to reward somebody who doesn't deserve it. It's not that crazy. So go out there, stop being lazy, go out there and work. Entertainment or knowledge, seek knowledge. My people prepare for the lack of knowledge. Just remember that, gain large and apply that knowledge. Dan K out.